In this video, I'm going to show you how to add custom parameters or custom fields, if you will, to your projects using Big Picture. This will allow you to be um, a lot more flexible when it comes to the data that is attached to your project per se, and not just items, issues inside your project. This video is part of our effort to deliver the top quality learning content for Jira and Confluence to every user uh, watching YouTube, of course. Uh, so if you want to support us, consider subscribing to the channel. And also, if you want to, you can always reach out to us for paid services, which we do offer in both of those areas. And now back to big picture. What I uh, want to talk to you about today is, of course, uh, parameters and adding them to the project. But first, before we go into itsy bitsy details of how to actually do it using big picture, I want to mention that this is uh, uh, something that most of uh, the customers that we are working with actually desire to have for a long time. And uh, we, we have been working with Big Picture almost from the beginning. And before Big Picture introduced a functionality that allowed us to actually add the parameters to projects or, to be precise, boxes, because this is what we currently have in Big Picture, uh, we had to find different workarounds uh, to, you know, be able to still deliver the desired functionality, even though Big Picture wasn't supporting it at that time. And I'm not going to go into the details of uh, what were the workarounds, but I want to mention that if uh, what I will be showing you today will um, not work exactly for your case, there are different ways of doing that, because those workarounds that I've mentioned they still work, they are still valid, and also in some cases, they are actually better than what I will be showing you today. So if that would be the case for you, just consider dropping us a note and we can jump on a, on a call and tell you more about different ways to approach this. All right, so um, when the picture introduced this functionality, this was actually a big change. The functionality is available in the overview module. So that's the one we're looking at right now here, overview. And this is the module that is available basically for all the boxes that you can create inside the big picture. Uh, currently, we're looking at the home box, but that's just because I'm, I'm, I'm here. I could as easily be in, be in ever, add any other box and those parameters would still be available to me. Okay, so what am I exactly talking about? Which parameters are there? Well, basically the columns that you see here, this is what I mean. And you can see that I'm currently looking at um, favorite icon type, name of the box, of course, status of the box, always useful. And then I have some fields that might or might not be as useful to you as they are to me, for example. So I have a, a summary of uh, the budget assigned to the box or a project. Let's assume that those boxes are projects. They don't have to be but they could be, right? They could also be portfolios. They could also be sub-projects or something else. Uh, but let's assume they are projects. So I'm, I'm looking at the summary of the budget of the whole project. I'm looking at the estimated costs assigned to all the tasks inside the project. Uh, the actual cost, the time spent by people who were working on my project tasks, the capacity of teams assigned to those projects. And I could also add more parameters here just by going to manage columns, I have the list of columns that are, I'm currently looking at over here, and I hit, can hit add new column. And as you can see, the list over here is quite long. But what you will notice is that my list is probably different than your list. I mean, if it's exactly the same, you are a mind reader, okay? Because I have some fields over here that have been added by me or by someone else uh, from Genius Gecko so that we can showcase some other things that can be done using that. So for example, I remember that this is the one that I've definitely added before, theme name. Why? Well, because uh, one of the customers we were working for wanted to categorize their projects by themes, right? So they had, I think, three major themes uh, as, as like big categories of projects that are happening inside. And therefore we were showing the customer that there is an easy solution if you want to categorize your projects by themes. You just add a field over here called theme name or whatever, and then you can inline edit it even over here to provide the name of the theme that the project is assigned to, okay? So that solved the problem. So the list that you saw 
of course, if I was able to add a custom field over there, you must be able to do it too, right? Yes, of course. So if you go to the configuration, and inside the configuration, we go to overview module and box columns. This is exactly where you will find the functionality to edit the fields that are then um, able to be added to the overview um, module. And the list of the fields that I have available, you will see over here. You will also see the plus icon, which allows me to add a field and I can add a string, I can add a number, date field, or an estimation field. And you just provide the name, you just choose the type, hit the yes button, and bam, the field will be created for you. And then it becomes selectable on the overview module so that you can add it to that list. So let me go back over here. Uh, adding a field is not actually really necessary. You understand the functionality, I'm sure, because it's not really complicated. But there are some things that are still worth mentioning over here. So this functionality, I think it's quite awesome because when you're working with Jira projects, right? So those ones over here, you actually don't get too many parameters that you can put on that project level. And uh, even if you are able to put parameters on the project level, the ones that are available, it's not really easy to like showcase them uh, next to one another. Over here, it looks a little bit better because you can enable those columns and you can view the data project by project, so you can kind of see where uh, what is going on with those projects, what are their themes, what are their budgets, what are their uh, statuses. You can put the link to the documentation here, for example, right? All the necessary fields that should belong on the project level and not on the level of items inside the project. But, 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 there are some things that are worth uh, mentioning over here as a downside of this functionality. I mean, it's, it's awesome that we have it, but it's not perfect, I would say, and it could be a little bit better. So what could be improved over here? Well, first of all, I feel like it would be really good if I was now able to sort by those custom fields that I'm adding. And I am not able to do that. So if you click on the column, nothing happens because that's a common theme and the picture clicking on columns doesn't invoke sorting. If you want to sort, you can. You have to actually go to uh, the sorting menu over here, and then you use. You can use the sorting. And again, normally, if you go over here, you will be able to sort by any columns that are currently visible. If you go to the Gantt view, for example, this is what you will get. So let me get to my demo box. I'll show you what I mean. We will skip the tour. It's going to load for a bit, but that's not a problem. Right, so if I go over here and I try to organize my tasks, you can see that I can sort by the columns that are currently visible. Not all of them, because some of them are not sortable, so to say, but basically most of them. And the same thing would need to be available for those custom fields on the overview module. But unfortunately, if you go to the overview module, the list over here is basically fixed. So even if I add my theme over here, like that, nice and easy. The sorting option doesn't expand and I do not get my new column that is now being shown, let me hide this, uh, that is now being shown, available here to sort by, right? And that's a problem because sometimes you would like to have the sorting by that column specifically, all right? So that's one thing to remember. Another thing to remember is that boxes that we are looking at over here, they exist on the level of big picture. So as long as you're working with big picture only and you're managing your project just using big picture, you're good. But sometimes it happens. And I, actually, when I mean sometimes, I, I think it's like more often rather than not, is that our customers also want to use this data outside of big picture, okay? Uh, so if you would be in that kind of category, you have to also be aware that those parameters will not be available to you outside of big picture. And you cannot put it, for example, on uh, a dashboard uh, as, a, as a table, for example, with data. You can't pull it and give it to a reporting app, for example, so that you can create a visual report using those parameters. So that is also a downside. 
And the workarounds that I mentioned at the very beginning of this video, they some of them are able to solve this problem. So it, I, I think it's 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 still worth exploring them even even now when this functionality is already available here in Big Picture. Um, yeah, all right. I think this is all what I wanted to showcase in this video. Um, I think that now you know how to use those custom fields that belong to the overview module and basically can be used in any box that you enable here in Big Picture. I, I think they are tremendously useful and they allow you uh, to apply another level of uh, data or, or, or um, reporting on the level of your portfolios and level of your projects. Um, your sub-projects, phases of those projects, sprints, for example, right? Any kind of box in Big Picture. If you think this video has been helpful to you, consider giving it a like, putting a comment in it, because this will help other users to find it more easily. And also, if you want to see more content regarding Jira, Confluence, Big Picture, other awesome apps that we are going to cover over here, consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, I will also remind all of you that we have a custom premium big picture video course or live courses available as well. So if you want to learn more about these, uh, go to our webpage and read more, more about it. Schedule a call with us. We will tell you more about it if, if you prefer that way. Uh, one way or another, I think it's definitely worth exploring because big picture is quite a robust tool and it has lots of awesome functionalities and it sometimes breaks my heart that so little of those functionalities are actually used by many of the um, people that come to us and talk about how they are working with Big Picture. And fortunately, we are able to usually help them expand uh, their scope of view, so to say, when it comes to the tool and get more out of what they are actually paying for. And I hope that uh, we will also get a chance to do it for you. And with this, I'm going to leave you. Thank you so much for watching. Be extraordinary. See you in the next video.